Hi, here's what's on the disc that I was talking to you about that you can order from the old CD bookshop at gmail.com. Okay, this is the contents of the first disc. It's in two discs, but right now I have loaded just the one and highlighted is what I was just showing you on screen, a new version of the Psalms of David. Whoever found it, found it online, so I'm sure you can find it online because it's in the public domain. But you'll notice that there's a whole lot of stuff on this CD. And for some reason, the machine locks up and I can't, like, scroll and show you all the things on CD. There's some problem in 64-bit Windows recording. I can't do it. So, I just look up here see where the running horse is that means it's busy and I'm stuck and I can't do anything American Standard Version that's in WordPad here's the Darby Bible there's another one I've never seen before called the Fenton Bible then there's the Ginsburg see the you know uh, Bible Hebrew Bible from 19 from 1894 I've got that in Bible works and then there's some kind of critical and exegetical commentary on Genesis. I don't know how good that is. I haven't read it yet. New translation of the Psalms. Okay, well that and that. These are new translations of the Psalms. So somebody's doing something there with that. Retranslating it. Here's another translation of the Psalms in 1789. And the thing is, what I'm trying to show you is that they knew to count the Hebrew syllables. All right? They knew to do that, and they've been redoing it each time since 1640. What I'm trying to tell you is this is the impact of America on history that Christ is tracing because the Bible got freed up when it left the continent, even from England, okay, because England still insisted on a unity between church and state. In America, we broke that, and the Bible broke free as a result. I'm not trying to say anything bad about Britain. If anything, Christ is centering everything on the English Reformation. But freeing up the Bible is the theme of what he's writing about in Matthew 24 and 25. And that's how we know how to interpret all those sevenings I was telling you about. So when I get to 2016 and you see it say, Lord, Lord, open to us in Matthew 25, 11, There's a reason why I'm interpreting it that way. And I'm going through the text to show you how what you interpret and why you interpret it that way has a basis that goes back for centuries. I got to end this now because the busy signal isn't ending on my computer. Sorry.